So I think the, um, the real estate sector has been a little bit of a sleeping giant. Um, it's in, only really awoken over the last sort of three to five years. You know, it's a, it's a ginormous contributor towards carbon emissions. So something like 40% of you know, the world's carbon emissions come from the real estate sector. I think to put that in perspective, you know, the aviation industry is sort of less than 2%, right? So we are a major contributor. Um, I, think, I think the sector is on a journey. So, um, you know, uh, a lot of firms are grappling with how they decarbonize their existing product. What's the right way to decarbonize? What's the best return on investment from CapEx? Um, and I think the solution really is going to be a sort of combination of uh, data, um, which the industry currently lacks, but is starting to try to harvest from its assets, from its underlying occupiers. It'll be a combination of technology, uh, you know, both sort of hard technologies, improvements in you know, solar panels, making them more cost effective, more efficient, uh, as well as soft tech improvements to buildings management systems, um, and, and, and finding the right capital for the right assets to take those assets on a journey uh, and decarbonize, you know, the existing built environment, not just, you know, building stand, you know, ground up new developments that hit certain high, high performance energy ratings. A lot of the ESG trend is being driven by large institutional managers who have the resources you know, to be able to employ you know, sustainability teams on a full-time basis. Typically, those market participants are buying you know, large, best-in-class real estate in gateway cities, in core markets across Europe. Um, and look, that has a really substantial part to play, and that's great. And taking those types of high-value assets on a decarbonization journey is great, but the, there's a big challenge in the long sort of brown tail of assets that are out there, which are of sort of not necessarily in themselves institutional, but still require that capital investment. And it's harder to justify that capital investment when it's, uh, you know, when ultimately the underlying value of the real estate is, is not that great. And, then, and, and those are the types of assets that fall below the radar of the institutions.